There's the bull. Bro! Ooh. You hit him. <laughs> well, hey folks. Driving down to deep south Texas. I'm gonna meet up with Cody from Double Shot Outfitters. My dad and I are gonna meet up and go hunt some Nilgai antelope. It's the first time for both of us. Really looking forward to this hunt. Weather's not fantastic today. Uh, cold front's moving through, ran, uh, ran through some rain, and um, it's gonna be a lot chillier than uh, we were hoping for. I think tomorrow is supposed to clear up, but we're gonna start hunting. Um, about midday today with uh, Cody and team and we'll see what we can do but yeah looking forward to uh, getting out on nice South Texas ranch seeing what we see and hopefully getting a little guy antelope so follow along we'll see what happens We met Cody and Mario at the lodge, loaded up in the Jeep, and got out on the ranch that we're gonna be hunting. This place is awesome. There are animals everywhere. There's Nilgai's sign all over the place, and we thought we saw a bull next to this pond. So we're gonna do a quick stalk to see what we can see and see if we can get a shot in. Oh, oh, no, wait, the one to the, the one to the right. Far right. The one just came out? Oh. Okay, so the one in the... Yeah, where we go? They all look kind of small. Yeah, well, This shooting platform overlooks a large field and there's often Nilgai grazing in that field. Sure enough, as we're looking, two come out and we decide we're gonna go make a stock. Good shot. That was awesome. Good shot. Dad made an awesome 250 yard shot with his 308. 
We're gonna give the animal a little bit of time and then go over there and see what we can find. Here is the spot where he hit the bull, but we're not seeing any immediate blood. So Mario and Cody are gonna start doing their tracking job and seeing what they can find. They've told us these bulls can run a long way after being shot. They're super tough animals. Hopefully we can find them. Okay, it's been a little while, but this bull is down. We found him alive and had to follow him through a lot of really heavy brush and we're finally able to get a second shot off to put him down. Cody has a great loading system with a winch on his Jeep. So we're gonna try to get him out of this really thick brush so we can get him out in the open and take some good pictures. How do you like your first now, guy? Yeah, it's awesome. This is a, way more than I thought of. That's really cool. That is a good one. Yeah, Congrats. It yeah, it is. A little pea shooter did okay. Yeah, it did. <laughs> So day one ends with success. These animals are awesome. They're huge, they're beautiful, and this is really turning out to be an amazing hunt. Now I'm ready for day two. Well, here we are, day two. Day one was awesome. I'm gonna go out and see if I can get on an owl guy today. The one my dad got yesterday was a absolute toad. These guys from Double Shot Outfitters are doing a fantastic job of guiding, really well set up. So, looking forward to uh, seeing more Nail Guy today. Let's see what happens. This is a big group. Why can't the bull do that? That's uh... Four? 570? Yeah, yeah I'm not no. taking that shot. Yeah, get closer. Here's the bull. Ooh. You hit him. <laughs> All right, shot fired on a big old bull. We had a good sized group go across the road in front of us. Weren't able to get a shot then. They were pretty far down there, about 500 yards. We whipped around in the Jeep and got ahead of them. And sure enough, they started fouling across the road about 300 yards. I was able to get set up, lying prone on the ground. That bull stepped out and I put the whammy on him. He ran off, definitely heard the hit. 
Uh, the guide said may have hit a little further back than they would prefer, so we're going to give them some time and see what we can find. We've waited about 45 minutes before we went to go look for them, and we found a little bit of blood. This trail is really hard. There's a lot of different tracks back here, and we're just not seeing a whole lot of blood. It's very open back here. There's a lot of places he could go. Well, folks, here it is. We looked and looked for my nail guy, couldn't find it. I made the shot at 300 yards. The guide said it hit a little further back than they'd like, but still within the ribs, which means it probably hit lungs if it went through it all. They've explained over and over again, these things are tough, tough animals, and we saw that. We went back into the brush, found a little bit of blood, found lots and lots of tracks, but just could not find this animal. And that kind of breaks my heart, not because I paid the money to go get the animal, but because I wounded an animal and was not able to recover it. I'm not able to enjoy the fruits of that labor. And it's, it's disappointing. Uh, but it's not to say that these guys didn't work their butts off for us. They've really done a good job. Obviously we have this fantastic place to stay. They've been feeding us well. And they've just worked really, really hard to get us on the nail guy and follow through in whatever way to do that. So I'm super glad my dad got one and he's going to have a whole lot of meat and a really cool amount. And I'm really, really stoked on that. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a great hunt. And uh, these double shot outfitter guys have done a good job for us. So that's the best part. Folks, heading back home, I want to say this right now, we had a fantastic hunt with Double Shot Outfitters. Those guys worked really hard. Cody and Mario just worked relentlessly to get us on some bulls. We had many, many sightings. They were a new guy all over that property, and both of us got to make a shot that we were fairly comfortable with. So, while I didn't get mine, I'm still really happy with the hunt. My dad's over the moon. He got a really nice bull and I'm really looking forward to seeing that hanging on his wall. He even said he might even share some of the meat with me. That'd be kind of nice of him. So anyway, we're heading back home. Learned a lot of lessons on this. Neil guy are tough animals, just super tough animals. And these guys really push the importance of the bullets you use. They use Barnes bullets. We weren't shooting those, and uh, yeah, learned the lesson on on really importance of, of bullets and the penetration those give. So, we go do it again, we know now. Going forward, you know, we're gonna get out there and hunt some more and, and have a good time, but I really appreciate you following along on this one. If you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos, subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you following along. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.